Feel sorry for him. He was contaminated. Come on. Careful now, he's armed. He's not up there. Look outside. That gun. It's the end of the ride, mister. think you want to accept our invitation. I know your kind of hospitality. Take him away. Take me where? Shut up and do as you're told.
I were in command, I'd send somebody out to have a look around. You're not in command. We'll soon be attacked. And I don't want to be handcuffed. I see you're afraid you might get hurt, but don't worry. We're not going to let anyone kill you. You're much too important for us. Important for you? You reconnoiter up ahead. No more questions till we get to the base. You men, let's go. I warned you, it's the Raiders. Take these cuffs off. Let's get him, come on! I got your radiation suits. What's happened? We have to cross the radioactive zone. It's still dangerous. You'll need a mask, too. I'll help you. Okay, let's get moving!
Now you can take off his handcuffs. I guess you think that there's no way to escape from here. You got the idea. All right, I won't try anything. Anyway, not until you tell me why you brought me here. You'll know soon enough. <laughs> Let's go. Ride's over. We continue on foot. Get out. Just follow Mara. We're going below. Where does this lead? You'll see. Suits are contaminated. Let's try them. You know we're here? Mm-hmm. Welcome, Captain Strike. Or do you prefer your nickname, Rage? Rage suits me just fine. Uh, you don't seem to be at all surprised to be here. I knew about these gamma bases, but I never expected them to survive a full-scale atomic attack. To be quite honest, I never expected it either, and I would be very interested to know how you managed to survive out there. It's a long story, but surely you didn't have me dragged all the way here merely to satisfy your curiosity. Listen to this. Interface signal coordinates K33, baseline 866, 907, Delta X, automatic life support system, 
Magnetic vital function reading to AO2. Energy reserve intact. Barometric level insufficient. Tiers 1 to 6 and 1 to minus 12 still in use. Modulation reading in five. Parabolic 30. Well, the transmission is weak, broadcast from far away. But there's no doubt about one thing. They're using military security codes. We've located the origin with point radar. It's Alpha Base. Alpha Base? It's still untouched? You must realize what the existence of Alpha Base means to us. It contains all the uranium reserves and the technical knowledge necessary to decontaminate the Earth so that life can return to this planet. Now, do you understand why I had you brought here? To take an expedition there. But why don't you send them? They were clever enough to find me and only lost 20 or 30 men. Bastard. There was no other way to get you. I told you it was useless. He's nothing but a lousy killer. Please, my friend, listen to me. We are dying. All the uranium that is left is only enough for two or perhaps three months of life. On the surface, men are becoming savages. The end is close for mankind. Listen to me, Bill. I am the only survivor of my unit. I never caught the disease. Why didn't you let us in after the atomic apocalypse while there was still time? Because you were afraid that you would be contaminated. And now you expect me to do something to save you? You think I'm asking for myself? <laughs> How long do you think I expect? Live. That's all very well. But we don't know what's waiting for us out there. Raiders, cannibals, mutants, and God knows what else. The inevitable radioactivity, no food, no water, no thank you. You're an officer just like me. Refusal to obey orders can be punished even by capital punishment. There are no longer any officers. And there's no obedience. There's nothing. No one and nothing. And it's all the fault of your army and its officers. They press those damn buttons. You're the only one who could succeed in such a desperate task. You already know what my answer is. I don't think I'm going to chance it. Mankind made the atomic war. So, why should I save it at the risk of my life? Why argue with him? You can see he loathes mankind. And after all he's been through, who can blame him? No, we can't blame him if he refuses to help us. We can only try to, to understand him. I'll do it. You ready? You're just out of training. Don't worry, Victor. We'll be back in shape in no time. Here, give me back the knife. Find it. Don't get around. Ah, here comes one of our traveling companions. Omar, the electronics wizard and munitions expert. Hi, fellas. How's it going? Well, it looks like I got that radar detector working right at last. Now we gotta find an energy source to run it when we're outside. Yeah. But why should I waste my time explaining that to you? You jerks are all muscle and not a hint of gray matter. Maybe so, but I can tell you, out there, transistors are no use. I know from experience. If you want to save your life, your muscles are better than nothing. I know you're a genius with electronics, but you're a balloon. You need to diet. You boys are out of training. What a pig. Maybe you don't eat enough. <laughs> There's your gun. Put them in the side boxes.
We're all set. Okay, let's go. One man who can help us make this journey into the Forbidden Lands. He's the only person who has a map of the area, but you'll have to watch your step. Watch your step? What do you mean? Don't do anything to annoy him, and let me do the talking. He has a gang of cutthroats who don't care what they do, and he's completely single-minded. One motivation, greed. Careful. There are men in there ready to kill for a bite of food or a drink of water. Let's go. I'm all right. Crazy. This way. Crazy. Hey, this way. Can Stop shutting me, Dad. Who are you calling me? Hurry. Beds are closing. Beds are closing. They're off. What are you doing? Wait a minute. There they go. Down the street. Come on, get me. Get the lead out. Shift your butt. Welcome to the pad, no matter what you're here for. Get some glasses for our guests. Here you are. Help yourself. Thanks. Interesting friends you got with you. Yes. Very interesting. Would you introduce me to her? Sergeant Major Ted Flanders the surface control forces. He was in my unit. But now, he calls himself Slash. That's right. Because of this. You see, he lost his temper with me once. The captain. We didn't quite agree on how to interpret certain regulations. And we still don't. Come on, Slash. You wouldn't want to spoil the party by telling me that stupid story. Let's talk business instead. <laughs> Shut up. Give the young lady your seat. <laughs> talk business, huh? What business? I know you have a few souvenirs from your soldiering days, and they uh, include maps. And I know you've made a few journeys, at least as far as the edge of the Forbidden Lands. Well, we want to go there, too. Sure. New Mexico, all of Texas. We were stationed there once, remember? 
And you kept the maps. <laughs> And they're very valuable, Captain. But, uh, that is expensive. Don't worry. We can pay. With arms and ammunition. You must have a good reason for wanting to go so far. Yeah, but I'm not going to tell you. There's only one reason you'd risk your life, Captain, and it's... uranium. So what? So I'll come with you. And I'll bring the maps. Agreed? I don't enjoy your company, Slash. <laughs> Especially if I have to pay for it. Ah! How much? 50-50. It's us who should decide that. Oh? The only one around here who can decide anything is him. Because he's got enough men to tear us to pieces. Right, partner? Yeah, that's right. We leave tomorrow morning? We leave tomorrow morning. Hey, Captain. Make sure you play fair, huh? Hey, Slash, me and the boys want to invite that bro to a little party. You want to come with us? She wants to go to the Forbidden Land, <laughs> Captain. I guess she can take care of herself. <laughs> come on, baby. Oh. Here's to us. The hot baby.
The farther we can get away from Flash, the better for us. He's not the type to take this kind of trick without trying to get even. And that goes for his men, too. But how can they find us now that we've taken his maps? Don't ask me how, but you can count on one thing. He'll try. Well, we better stop for a minute. Check our position. I don't know. There's a magnetic hurricane. It ruins the reception completely. In a little while, we'll be out of this valley. Then, I think, the instruments should be working again. Okay. Let's get going. And another thing. We should have borrowed some water from Slash. We're nearly out, and we're going to have to find some. <laughs> Fat chance around here. This is a desert. According to the map, there's a well in the canyon that leads out of the valley. Let's hope it's not dry. We can get some water there. Get moving. There isn't any water here. No water? Well, what the hell do we do? I don't know. Ask that corpse by the well. Well, one thing's certain. We've got to keep moving. We have a lot of ground to cover. tracks head out of the valley. I wonder how far ahead of us they are. They must have come up here looking for water, which means they'll have to stop again and we'll catch up. They haven't a chance. Even if you capture Rage, they'll never tell you where the uranium is. That's the reason I want them to lead us. Follow their tracks. Go on. Go on! Forward! Let's go! Come on! Follow the tracks! Here. Where'd you find it? There's a spring up there. 
We better get back to the jeep. What about Rage? He'll catch up. Come on. Jeep tracks look pretty fresh to me. They can't be more than an hour ahead of us. Do you want to get closer? Mm, no. He's too clever. We'll stay out of sight. Mm. lost their trail. Hmm. I know you rage, you son of a bitch. Just remember that I'm as tricky as you are. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet! Oh. calls this area the land of the trembling rocks. No wonder, after that earthquake. They're probably very frequent around here. One more result of the bombing. Coffee? Thanks. See anything? Nope, not a thing. Our luck's still with us. Maybe they'll never find us. Can I have some coffee? The reason they won't be able to find us is because they haven't got these maps. Don't kid yourselves. They're liable to jump us any minute. We better finish eating and get going. Thanks. Rage, what's wrong? Did you see something? No, nothing. Nothing. I must say, you're a very good cook. Did you know no. that? Go and warn Archon.
Arkan, there are four strangers in the jeep out near Trembling Rock. Get my horse ready. I better go and see what they're up to. What's wrong, Rage? Take a look. They've been following us all morning. Keep calm and act natural. Why didn't you say anything sooner? Because I was hoping to be wrong. However, there is one thing. They haven't attacked us. So far. Still, it's a good sign. I suppose so. They look like ordinary travelers, and they're too few to cause serious trouble. What do we do, Archon? Nothing, as long as they continue on their way. getting a signal. Are you sure that it's working again? What is it, Omar? What can you hear? There, there it is again. Now I can hear it clearly. No, it's just static. <laughs> I think you got sand in your ear, Omar. Don't shoot. Are you crazy? Look. Hello. They're clever. They've seen that we're well armed. Is that the reason why they're not attacking us? No. But they'd like to know what our plans are. Look. It looks like he's pointing out the right direction for us to follow. Thanks, friend. What are you doing? You're not going to give away our guns. A couple. We can always use friends. You never know. Interrogate him. I'm sure he can tell me where my friend Rage is. Take him to the camp. I'm your feet. Come on. Stop. Look. The antenna. <sighs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
It's your turn. He's a stubborn son of a bitch. Hey. What's this? Here, give me. It's called fruit. It used to grow on trees before the bomb. I thought it all disappeared. Tasty. Very good. <laughs> hey, what'd you stop for? You won't have any skin left. So what? Hold it. I'll take care of it myself. He looks like he could use a little freshening up. No, not water. That might make him sick. Try kicking him a little. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I'm dying. This bloody heat. Ooh. That's good. Once we get the uranium, we must come back and visit these people. Because if they know enough to grow vegetables and cultivate the earth, I think we should be in business with them. Us in business? What's wrong with that? They grow it. And we eat the stuff. <laughs> All right, on your feet, you lazy bums. We're leaving. seem to be in good shape. They used to have trains connecting the bases. We're nearer than we thought. Shall we follow the rails? Of course. It's okay in here. The fuel tank. It's full. It looks like it might work. We might go for a little run after we find out the base. I can't see a thing. 
Have you located it? No such luck. Anyway, I'm sure it must be around here. That's Victor. Maybe he's found the door. Hey, hold on. Sure looks pleased with himself. Take it easy, Omar. You'll burst a lung. I found something. Come on. It's an old emergency exit. But there's no way we can get through that rubble. Nothing's impossible when Omar's around. I got a few keys here that'll open any door in a couple of seconds. <laughs> then I think we'd better leave you to it. <laughs> Look safe. Wait a minute. It's this way. Stand back. reach the nerve center of the alpha base. That's it, all right. frequency laser transmitter. Of course, it goes into action in the event of an attack. What do you mean, it goes into action? It broadcasts a message automatic. Nobody survived that. Have we come here lured by a recording? What about uranium? I doubt if there's any left after a reaction of such violence as the one that destroyed the base. It looked as though our journey was a waste of time. We're just gonna have to go back empty-handed. No. Look.
history of civilization, engineering, principles of electronics, the science of construction, elements of philosophy, ah, the whole of human culture, technology, science. Man's best efforts, then, better than uranium. With this knowledge, the world can be reconstructed quickly, provided it's worth the effort. But at least our expedition hasn't been a failure, and we have something to take back with us. Activity. Zero level, apparently. But look, the greatest book of all time, Bible. And those containers are full of seeds. Be careful. It could be a trap. We have to risk it. You're right. But we'll take the Bible, too. The radiation level's rising. I don't understand it. Something's happening. Oh, look out! Get out of here. You've set up the self-destruct circuit. Come on, hurry. Let go. Hurry up, come on. Wait. Come on. Figures all right. We found some jeep tracks leading in that direction. There's where the commotion's coming from. And where there's trouble, you'll find my friend Rage. You can bet on it. Hit it! <laughs> Do you think these things we found will be useful? Useful? Are you kidding? With this stuff we... Listen! Can't you hear? Go to the train.
They've got us in a trap. We'll have to fight. It's us or them. What can we do? I need some time. Keep them busy. Here. There's only one person in there. Do you want to bomb him out? No. Uh. Couldn't care less about that guy. The uranium won't be in there. Back to the cars!
<laughs> Not a sign of him. Good for Omar. How's it running? Great. Here they are.
Captain, you gave us quite a run, you know. I was so disappointed when you left without saying goodbye. Were you trying to pull a fast one? How'd you guess? Hold it, boys, don't shoot. We got enough corpses. That's right, Slash. Why should you kill us? There are just three of us and we're helpless. As you see. <laughs> okay, search a train and find the uranium. You see, it was a waste of energy. <laughs> no one ever gets the better of me. <laughs> you see, the wheel of fortune never stops turning. Suddenly, we're not helpless anymore. Would you like to continue our negotiations? Peacefully. <laughs> All right, Captain Rage. I'm willing to accept your offer. What's my share? 20%, partner. <laughs> All right. The 20% is a bit small. If I take it. <laughs> you underestimate your profit. Your life is worth much more than 20%. Ah. Anyway, it's up to you to decide. Hey, Sergeant. I have to admit one thing. I must tell you, it was only thanks to your maps that we found Alpha Base. Then you ought to give me a larger cut. What of? Huh? Well, I forgot to tell you that at uh, Alpha Base we didn't find what we were looking for. There was no uranium there. Not one gram of it. Huh? Ah. Uh. <laughs> but we found something else. Something more precious. Precious for all humanity. For all of us. And for you as well. Me? Yes, for you. Rah. Listen, Captain. All your smart talk doesn't fool me. I promise you. You'll pay for this. Whenever you want, Slash. <sighs> Look at them. They've all decided to leave without a moment's hesitation. As soon as they saw the seeds we found at the base, they got ready for the journey. It's their will to survive. Giving up a safe refuge. They've already tried growing crops in the land around here, but they say that the results are poor and the harvests are small. What else could they have expected? But they say that the lands up north are no longer contaminated. I told them that we might join them later with the men from Gamma. It won't be easy to build up a new world, but no harm in trying, even if we don't have much to work with. After all, the old one was made out of scraps and dust and a used rib. 